there we also had some patron questions by um our local hindu patrol that were just like statements and vague accusations in the form kind of of a question, of a question. Yeah. but honestly i've I, been receiving a lot of abuse from hindu patrols recently this is not even question not good like i'm looking and so i just I'm didn't want to at, engage yeah and they're not i mean we don't even have to engage i'm really first of all half of them don't make sense the other ones are just like not questions they're like statements turned into questions to make you know these are not honest questions that you have you're like attacking Susanna and they're very and also a, in a very like ugly way like also like you change your username to something do you want us like it's like such a bad faith way of engaging with us so we're just gonna n not engage with such bad faith attempt as like these, these <laughs> you're are like not oh really it's questions. such an ugly way and my my standard is like well they're not threatening me with being r-worded like you know several other people this week so <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 that's kind of no, why yeah, i'm feeling kind of low energy today um oh i'm sorry you seem okay uh, though yeah, I mean, yeah. like you're doing very good with uh, if, if you're feeling like that. You seem very upbeat. So, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, um, guys, like Susanna, guys, Susanna deals with so much sexist, disgusting threats. And like we have, like, we're like collecting them all. And we can't show it to you guys because YouTube is going to think like we're saying it. And if you post them on Facebook, Facebook is going to think like we're saying it. So what we're deciding to do is like maybe put it on a Google Drive somewhere and then link it to you guys so you could go see what Susanna has to deal with. Like it's the Hindutva, like the amount of vile, disgusting insults and threats that Hindutva, like we haven't seen that from any other community. We haven't seen from this from the far right people from i mean hindu to is far right but like western far right west like leftist in the west we haven't seen this from muslims we haven't seen this from christians but this level of this you know it's just i i don't even know how susanna deals with this like i'm so sorry that you have to go like this is like she's she puts so much effort into trying to make the, these shows and go research and come here and make content for you guys and she has to go through so much hate so much negativity and in the the most depraved vile way comments that you could imagine right i mean here's the thing i don't receive i don't receive those those right i have been here i have i'm i have been involved with atheist republic for like 15 years right um and Susanna has been here for like one year but she is way a way bigger target than I ever was like it's like them you can tell how much being a woman attracts this much negativity and vile comments it's so horrible like honestly I I don't know how anybody like it's such a thankless job I'm so sorry Susanna that you have to go you have to deal with this and you know what this is why like we, if Susanna ever tells us that we don't she doesn't want to have to deal with anything like she gets to do that like you know it doesn't i don't care if you're a patron if you are part of the people that is making life more difficult for susanna you could fuck off right she is doing she's putting so much effort in and she believes in what she does so much right she's literally doing this because she believes in it and she thinks that she's making a positive influence and these people are trying to come here and being so hateful to her right and these, this person as a, as a patron is also is being very specifically against Susanna, right? Uh, and yeah, you, I don't care. I, you know what? I don't care if you're a patron. You could go fuck off, right? If Susanna ever decides that she doesn't want to deal with you, she gets to decide. Okay, she. You need to be thanking her for everything she does. She she oh. is very passionate, especially about India. Okay, she cares for India, right? So yeah, fuck you for not recognizing all her effort and all her value. And fuck you for thinking that we will have to ask your questions, your hateful comments, your hateful questions, and your hateful username. And yeah, and fuck anybody who supports the people who are coming after Susanna. Oh, uh, well, thank you for your kind words. And from everyone <laughs> okay. in the live chat, it doesn't mean a lot to me. 
Um, yeah. Cause mm. I don't know. Oftentimes it's kind of funny. Like I, a lot of times I get these messages and like in the moment it doesn't bother me. Like oftentimes I, I actually think it's kind of funny, but then later, like sometimes even like a few days later, I realize like, I just feel like gross and like bad about myself. And I'm like, Oh, what's going on? Like, Oh, probably because of like the things that people are like telling me about myself. Like, you know, it's not over time. It wears on you, you know? Um, yeah, (laughs) this is, that's one thing I was, Oh, that's really sweet. St. Suzanne is Indians, Mm -hmm. (laughs) India's patron saint. (laughs) That's so sweet. Uh, and no, you you were going to say something, go on. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce this username, but they're saying trolls are trying to pressure you to stop your activism, Santa. You have our support no matter what. Do what is best for you. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I was, I was thinking about how, like, especially in like the atheist, skeptic, like rationalist space, I feel like there's a lot of expectation or pressure upon people to like always be these like super like emotionally disengaged like purely logical people and it's like it shouldn't matter what you're going through or your own emotions like you should put that aside and examine the arguments and all this stuff and you know people were really rag on different public figures for when they can't do that or when they do get emotionally involved and that's something that i used to kind of like think about sometimes about figures that i looked up to and then when you're actually put in that position like you realize how frankly like dehumanizing that expectation is that you're supposed to be some like perfect bastion of like r- logical or rational thought when that's not how humans are meant to interact like or that's not how people can be 100% of the time they're just you know like a human too, who also is susceptible and goes through stuff. <laughs> like, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, no, it makes complete sense. Like that's why I. That's why when I, when you get some comments and you say, if I ask you, like, are you okay? And you say, like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, I bet this is affecting her. Even when you think, even when you're thinking, you're fine. Um. Yeah, but. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. For you. No, like that's it. okay. But well, you, okay. you don't apologize. You didn't do anything to me. <laughs> but saying sorry is not an apology. I'm just sorry. Oh, I know. I know. Um, <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Abhabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 